Hi everybody, welcome to World Swamp. This is Vat Frog, and welcome to episode one of my adventures here on the center map. I am playing single player, uh, there's no mods, and uh, I've got a little farm going here, and I wanted to share with you what's going on. I'm a little advanced, I guess, for episode one of season one, uh, but uh, I should... <clears throat> But I still wanted to share what was going on. And today, I really want to finish the barn that's over here. Um, I want it to look kind of like a Midwestern barn, a nice red barn. Um, today, I'm going to get it all the way finished, except for I'll probably uh, add the red paint in uh, another episode. Uh, but before I do that, I want to go out and collect eggs and just kind of show you what's going around. Got a nice little uh, dialo collection over here. Um, I've collected so many eggs. Uh, I've collected so many eggs over uh, the course of my playing here, and I really want to get into the. Geez, I'm having a hard time picking stuff up. I really wanted to get into uh, getting kibble, and so I'm going to need to make. I just got an industrial grill so I can cook large amounts of prime meat. And then also uh, what I want to build next is an industrial cooker. Uh, again, it'll probably a later episode uh, so I can make tons of kibble really fast. It's really uh, kind of a pain. Holy Quetzal eggs. Look at that. That is awesome. I will take those. Thank you very much, Grace. Um, I, Grace, I tamed all by myself. I'm very proud of that. Anyway, um, uh, going back to egg collection here. So, did I miss anybody? Okay, I got a Palma Scorpius egg. Pretty cool. So I've got a lot of eggs. Uh, just before I started here, I was out on my shark uh, doing a lot of stuff. And I uh, came back and the egg production is crazy. I don't have egg rates turned up at all. I just have a lot of creatures going on. Uh, I believe they're all mate boosted. And uh, so that really helps. So let's see who I got here. Some. Diamorphodon eggs. I got a ton of those. I've just been collecting diamorphodons. I like to have them riding around uh, on my shoulder. I had Lake here. Look at Lake. Uh, it's a 158. I'm going to go ahead and boost them up. I pretty much just add health to these guys um, so they don't get themselves killed instantly. They're kind of nice to carry around on your shoulder because they will um, attack things that are attacking you, especially. Uh, insects and uh, which can be a real pain especially in large numbers and so let me drop these eggs off I've got a couple of preserving cabinets here going on uh, let's see stego eggs so I already got a hundred stego eggs uh, let's see and then over here is where I'm keeping I don't have those eggs okay so in this bin I have 20 turtle eggs add another one and we've got 20 scorpion eggs now and 50 dimorphodon eggs let's see raptor eggs are now at 75 and over here add two quetzal eggs got five of those pretty excited about that uh, dilo eggs are 10 but i have 100 in another one so i have 110 I have 137 dodo eggs so i really have to if i really wanted to make those into kibble in the uh, regular cooking pot which is over here um, transferring all that water jars and everything it would just take forever um, a lot of running around I just don't want to do it it's uh, really easier at this point to actually just go ahead build an industrial cooker uh, hook it up to the constant water supply and then go from there uh, we've got some stuff I want to drop off here some extra weight from my collection, I found a whole bunch of trilobites, and I just, um, I just got rid of all those guys, or I just uh, massacred a bunch of trilobites. And there was a lot more left over, so uh, I'm kind of excited about that to get those. Find a source of silica pearls, and now I'm just going to grab some materials, which are in this cabinet. There we go. So I just pretty much need uh, walls to start out with and then slope wooden walls and then so we'll get started on that and the first thing i'm trying to figure out is how high i need to make these guys uh let me put this um where the walls go okay so they're in six okay 
Uh, so I need to, I've got a three high right now. I think I'm going to have to go four if I want to add any more of these uh, metal vaults, and I think I do. So let's get started with that. Oh, RG in the way. So yeah, I really want this to look like a Midwestern barn. Uh, I live in the Midwest, always have. Um, I love red barns. My uncle used to have one and I used to play around in it. It was dark, it was full of pigeons and bats and other cool stuff. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to make this look like a barn. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with the doors at this point. If I just wanna leave them open or wanna try to put in uh, one of the dinosaur gates. Um, I wouldn't add any doors to it just because the doors kind of get in the way and uh, yeah so so I'm kind of undecided about that we'll just see how it goes today but yeah well, today I want to get everything finished I'm gonna put doors and windows in later I'm just gonna get everything up and running right now uh, so I can go from there so I think I'm done with walls let me go put those away and actually what I need next are some ceilings and hold on, I gotta hit pause. Just turned off the fan. I forgot that I had um, the fan going on in the background. It gets really hot in my office here, which is in the basement, which is kind of weird. But I think the computer just produces so much heat in this small little space. Um, plus, I've got the window over here, um, which uh, kind of heats things up. So, what happened to my ceilings? Ah, there they are. Okay, so we'll do that with the ceilings. So I'm going to put in a loft. So I'm going to put in a flat ceiling throughout this whole thing. I've only got 15 to start out with. Can I reach up that high? I can. Great. So I'm going to start off with that. And I don't know how, if I'm going to have to put pillars up um, to go, you know, far out or not. Because I think it's not going to be wide enough. And I don't really want to add pillars uh, just because they're going to, you know, kind of get in the way. Kind of like this bird here. So let's get my RG out of here. And there we go. Uh, I'm stuck in the RG. Okay. So I don't think. Oh, wait a minute. I can't. Oh, great. Wait. What? Did I not add? Oh, my gosh. I didn't add a four high over there. Ugh. That's really annoying. Okay. So I just wasted a bunch of walls. I think. I might as well just leave them there for now and see if how things turn out. Maybe I want a little bit taller of a loft in part of the building. Um, I'm not going to put any vaults in over here, and it doesn't really feel claustrophobic. So I'm going to go get some more materials and build a bunch more ceilings, and then I will be back. So we're back, and it's nighttime, and uh, it's time to start building. So I think to build that top ceiling, I'm going to need to get up here. So it's kind of nice that I actually made a mistake and built these guys over here so fall off aren't i okay hey i landed all right so let's get up those few walls that i needed to add in okay there's one okay and let's see if i can get around my bird here okay there's that one and let's see I'm not sure if I'm going to add um, all the way up here too wide. It's going to make that um, opening pretty narrow, so I may not do that. Ooh, lights off, lights on, lights off, lights on. All right, enough playing around with that. Let's um, get the ceiling going here. Okay, so this should work out all right. So let's get back on the bird. Let's see if we can land up here. Nope. Try, try. Oh, great. Screwed that up. Wonderful. All right. Let's land the bird here. I might fall down. Nope. Great. All right. So I got to demolish these. Made another error. I like how the uh, the lights turn on and off um, kind of randomly for no apparent reason. I'm just being sarcastic, of course. All right, so let's extend this out so I can actually have a big enough landing platform 
for my bird. Oops. Let me get this right. Building an arc is difficult. Uh, it's, oh, great. I just put another one there for no reason. Um, but uh, especially if you're trying to do things fast, <clears throat> you're going to end up with some problems. But that's just the nature of the beast. Um, building's still kind of cool, though. So I can't do that. All right, so let's get rid of that guy. I'll get back on the bird here. All right, so I got a big enough landing platform. Come on, land there, RG. There we go. All right, so I'm back in business now. Only have 10 more ceilings. That's not going to last very long, is it? But I'll be able to get a good start on it. Come. Fine, I'll go this way if you're going to be a pain. And there. And there. And there. And there, and there. Once you get going, it's not so bad, but there's a few little quirks in building that are kind of irritating. Oh, I'm gonna make another one here. All right, so I'm gonna get some more ceilings together and then I'll be back again. Okay, we're back with more stuff. One thing I didn't notice is that these woods don't line up. You can see that the uh, logs are moving this way and then here they're moving the other way so I kind of would you know I could just let it go but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can fix that so we'll get rid of these I mean you know going through all this trouble to make this barn um, might as well make it look pretty good come on so we'll demolish that I was able to where is it the hatchway I got that figured out right I actually kind of would like um, all the logs to face this way but I'm not gonna go to um, that extreme to fix that now see that's screwed up now there too how the heck so it's still screwed up and my bird just knocked me down thanks bird um yeah get away get away get away come on get away damn bird all right i gotta set him to not follow me all right okay i guess i'm just not gonna stress out over it Let's see. I'll stop. Okay. I'm not going not gonna to stress out about it. I'm just going to... Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. What the heck was going on here? Now, I thought for a second it was facing the right way. But I guess I was imagining that. Oh, well. So, like I said, let's just get this going here. Now, get another one. And let's see, let me finish this. How are we doing? Okay, so we got ourselves a nice hatch here. I'm gonna see, I haven't tried one of these before actually, sort of embarrassingly. Let's try if we can build ourselves a ladder and actually snap it. Oh, all right, so I'm gonna. I'm just going to jump down here, actually, take a little fall damage. And then I'm going to build um, just from there. Come on. I think that would be easier than trying to build while I'm on there. Come on. You know you want to snap to it. There we go. Now we're good, huh? Oop. If I can actually climb up. Come on, you stupid thing. All right. Climb up. There we go. All right. So now we've got it built, and we'll continue with our ceilings, and we'll uh, bring you back for the next round of things. Okay, and we're back on the roof of our new barn, and this is kind of how it's shaping up. Um, I wish there wasn't a huge gap there. Um, I have no idea how to fix that. Uh, maybe I'll just try placing one again later. Uh, maybe it'll magically fix itself actually with this roof I'm not going to put on a uh, come on why is this I'm not getting oh there it is actually with this roof I'm going to be putting on stone a lot of the barns in the Midwest have uh, like metal roofs and so this is going to look the closest to um, that 
um, rather than the uh, wood kind of just looks a little a little weird in my opinion uh, maybe some people think the stone looks oddball too but that's what I'm going with uh, let's see so I am gonna finish this up and I will be back and you guys can see the finished product and I'm back with a finished barn well it's mostly finished it still needs a paint job but other than that looking pretty good it's wood with a stone roof and for right now I think I'm just gonna leave it open and not try to put any dinosaur gate in the uh, front here or in the back uh, just be easier to get in and out of and it, it looks all right I think um, oh, let me get this guy to stop and then we'll look in the loft and the loft needs a little work as far as access is concerned but other than that I'm pretty happy with it I'm gonna keep all my dimorphodons up here I'm kind of curious to see if when they lay eggs if it falls straight through and down onto the ground below but got my little dimorphodon buddies got doors up here so I can just fall out here I wish I could put a ladder in right here but then it would be right in the middle of my doorway anyway that's about it for episode one I'm glad you came along and if you enjoyed this please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching